the birthplace of military aviation pioneer Frank P. Lom. Just north of the city, situated on the highest airport in Ohio, is the home of the 179th Airlift Group. Mansfield's C-130s can be found flying missions to all corners of the free world. Training exercises that involve working and flying side by side with our allies are a valuable part of the 179th's wartime contingency plan. Locally, by order of the governor, the 179th can be called to active duty to aid relief efforts in the areas of snow removal and tornado and flood relief. The total force policy is the backbone of our nation's military framework. This policy provides flexibility, strength, and swift response. The personnel of the Air National Guard are vital members of the total force team, fulfilling their training role in the U.S. and with worldwide deployments, working side by side with our allies. Possum Parati, the unofficial motto of the 179th Tactical Fighter Group, ready to strike. General, I thought it was a heck of a fine mission overall. Uh, he had uh, good formation there and back and good air discipline. And uh, about one of the finest range patterns we've seen in a long time. I thought when, before it went much farther, we'd uh, take care of the financial end of the uh, <coughs> situation here in the best range scores. <laughs> and, well, uh, guardsmen practice and train to do their jobs well. And whether they're called Major or Mister, they know that readiness is the reason for being. The 50,000 years of man's recorded history in a time span of but a half a century. Stated in these terms, we know very little about the first 40 years, except at the end of them, advanced man had learned to use the skins of animals to cover them. Then about 10 years ago, under this standard, Man emerged from his caves to construct other kinds of shelter. Only five years ago, man learned to write and use a cart with wheels. Christianity began less than two years ago. The printing press came this year. And then less than two months ago, during this whole 50-year span of human history, the steam engine provided a new source of power. Newton explored the meaning of gravity. Last month, electric lights and telephones and automobiles and airplanes became available. Only last week did we develop penicillin and television and nuclear power. And now, if America's new spacecraft succeeds in reaching Venus, we will have literally reached the stars before midnight tonight. This is a breathtaking pace, and such a pace cannot help but create new ills as it dispels old. New ignorance, new problems, new dangers. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs Air Force Reserve, and Air Guard units from all over the United States meet in several inter-service competitive events to compare and enhance their proficiency levels. The goal of all this preparation is readiness, and the Air Guard is ready. 
Air Guard recruiting has built the largest force in our history. And retention of these valued personnel is highest of all the reserve components. These airmen perform their duties with utmost efficiency and cost effectiveness. Getting the most defense for the dollar has long been a trademark of the Air National Guard. Because of this value, modernization of Air Guard aircraft and mission support equipment is continuing at an accelerated pace. Experience is the cornerstone of the Air National Guard Foundation. No other military branch can match the years of hands-on experience that the Air National Guard possesses. This winning combination of experience and youth has brought the Air National Guard many honors when pitted in friendly competition with the Air Force. The 179th has a proud record of over four decades of dedicated service to their nation and community and are part of a National Guard heritage that goes back over 300 years. The Readiness is the reason for being.